Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about the LotMax SC10 Shark V2. I've had the liberty of being able to play around with it for a little while now, and um, I've messed around a little bit with the settings and the slicer, along with the G code as well for the dual mode. Um, I have had some members reach out to me and ask me about the G code setup. Uh, how to set up the slicer for dual mode, uh, things of that nature. So I just wanted to make a quick little video um, demonstrating that for you guys. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, we're going to be using the Lot Max Cura version uh, to set this up. So in in order to get that software, we're going to navigate over to the Lot Max website. At the very top, you'll see support. And then on the drop down menu, we're going to see firmware and software. Let's go ahead and click on that. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see Lot Max for Mac or Lot Max for Windows, depending on your system software, you're going to want to download the corresponding files. I have Windows, so I went ahead and I've already downloaded it. For the sake of saving time, let's just go move on to the next step. After that, we want to open up your uh, LotMax slicer program. I already have uh, a profile set up for my LotMax, um, so uh, I'm just going to assume that we're doing this from scratch. So at the very top, let's just click on this drop down menu and we're going to click on Add Printer. Uh, when this box appears, we're going to look at the LotMax. SC10 Shark. I've been in uh, corresponding emails with the technician at uh, LotMax and they assured me that for this version, the SC10 Shark V2 and the Shark series, that you can go ahead and use the LotMax SC10 Shark profile for this printer. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to add that one. So, once it pops up, it's going to register, you know, only one extruder um, at this point in time. Uh, so what I want you to do now is we're going to go up to the top again, and we're going to click on Manage Printers. This time we're going to make sure that the SC10 Shark profile that you just added is highlighted in blue. And then we're going to go over to Machine Settings. And once you get to this point, we're going to go down here and we're going to click on number of extruders and we're going to click on two. All right. That's pretty much um, you're setting up the profile and letting the printer know that it does have multiple colors. Uh, so once that loads up, we're going to take a look at the start and end G code. So here at the top, you see where it says G28. Right after the 28, we're going to put a capital L. All right. And then down here where it says G1 space E100. Right after it says E, we're going to take this 100 and we're going to delete it and replace it with 87. If you go over to the right just a little bit more on that same line in the G code, you're going to see where it says move 100. You're going to take this 100 out and we are going to replace it with 87. So that's pretty much what we're going to do for the start G code when setting up this profile. Now if we go over to the NG code and right here where it says see G1E-2 on the second line here it says G1E-2 we're going to replace that 2 with 85 
So that's going to say G1 E-85. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the G code. So once you have the G28L, all right, and then you have the G1 E87, and then the move 87 and on the start G code and then the E and G code you're gonna have the G1 E-85 so close that out and we're gonna close it out again and that pretty much has set up the profile to run dual mode on the lot max and you'll notice now you'll have two different um, extruders up here in the settings so that pretty much takes care of the g-code part of it so I want to look at the settings a little bit on the uh, lot match profile now I want to pause for a minute and and just discuss a little bit about uh, the technicians at these 3d printing companies they spend hours upon hours on designing profiles and setting up profiles for their known machines uh, it doesn't make any sense for the technicians to just put together a profile uh, on the fast and, and just send it out to people they they want their product to be well known and have good quality work so with that being said whenever you set up a new profile I always recommend that you go with the stock settings you're pretty much going to want to uh, just use what the technicians have developed to run best on their machine uh, with the exceptions of temperature uh, because you know different filaments run different temperature and stuff like of that nature uh, so I just want to do a quick little rundown of, of the settings that I've used to be able to produce good quality prints such as this right here and I'll show this again in the big screen before I cut out for the evening uh, so let's jump right in uh, pretty much I run mine at um, normal let's go back over to my profile that I've already set up alright here we go so I run mine on normal um, due to the gravity uh, auto leveling um, it does seem to work and it works very well um, and I've run all my prints at normal and it comes out really really well uh, so pretty much stock on everything um, with the exception of my horizontal expansion of course uh, and my temperature uh, I'm running mine at 205 currently and bed temperature at 60 again that just goes based off of the type of material that you're printing with um, my retraction speed I did sp uh, slow that down a little bit um, by default it's set to 80 uh, I set mine to 70 uh, I seem to have pretty good results um, print speed now I've actually had to slow my print down when it comes to the uh, SC10 Shark V2 that I'm currently using um, it is very fast machine and it does do pretty decent quality running at uh, the speed that it's set up for uh, by default however for my personal preference I did slow it down just a little bit uh, because for me I'm more about quality than it is speed uh, so with that being said I did go down to 45 on the overall speed on the settings uh, moving on let's talk a little bit about the dual extrusion part of the settings in the slicing program I did try a few prints prior to changing this and it seemed like it needed to prime a little bit more and that'll be based on the different colors that you're using obviously if you go from a lighter to a darker color it's going to take a little bit longer to prime the nozzle um, so to alleviate that I went ahead and just made my surface area um, that it primes bigger and I actually increased the volume 
So by doing that, the nozzle will actually extrude a little bit more material uh, before going on into the next part of the print. Um, you will get a little bit more waste out of it, um, but that's the nature of the beast when you're working with a machine that's two in and one out. Um, so my settings would be the prime tower size, I changed it to 30, which made it a little bit bigger. And the, um, as I said, the prime tower maximum volume, I set it to 75. Uh, that seemed to pretty much prime both of the colors out, uh, depending on if you were going lighter to darker or uh, vice versa. Um, the prime tower position, uh, that's pretty much irrelevant. Uh, uh, that's to your liking. I, what I did with mine is I just put mine on the uh, bottom left corner here and I just changed some of the positioning a little bit uh, just to uh, make it to my liking. Um, but that's pretty much it when it comes to the settings uh, in the slicing program. Uh, just be mindful that when you're changing a setting on extruder 1, uh, you want to click on extruder 2 and you want to make the same changes on that side of it. Um, if you do not do that, then when it changes color, it will have different results. Um, it'll print the way that it's set up. Uh, which may be useful if you're trying to do two different types of material in the same printer. Um, however, that's another video. We'll cover that later on. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how I set up my G-code and the slicing uh, settings um, for the LotMax SC10 Shark V2. I imagine that this would work on all of the Shark series as I have been instructed from the technicians um, at the LotMax company. So guys, I want to thank you for watching and uh, one last thing before we head out. Don't forget to head on over to my YouTube channel and give me a sub. It keeps me going and I'll post some more content to try to help some more members. While we're at it, we can go ahead and join our Discord server the best 3D printing discourse server on the internet. Here you, you will find like-minded people who like to network with each other, help each other out, work on projects with each other, help diagnose problems, along with voice chat, and we like to stream our prints as well. I'll put all that information down in the description. Feel free to join, come in, and say hello. That pretty much wraps it up guys. I want to thank you again for watching. The video did run a little bit longer than I'd like for it to, uh, but there was some content on there that I wanted to get out to you guys and uh, try to help you out. Uh, so looking forward to uh, chatting with you on Facebook and Discord. Have a good night guys.